So we've been offering physical activity in our pathways um, since January 2018 when we first started the project um, and we started to, to roll and gradually build into that. So this was a really exciting project um, but it had a number of challenges that came with it. Um, a good example is in the gestational diabetes clinic when women come we're having to teach them how to monitor blood sugar levels, explain the diagnosis of gestational diabetes but also fit in physical activity advice into that as well as lifestyle. I think it's really exciting that we can look to use the work that we've done in Oxford and, and the, the, the steps that we've taken to really show that in other, other hospitals across the country. We've, we've developed a toolkit um, which will have mapped on the ways that we've, we've, we've done it in Oxford uh, using different pathways and starting with looking at your patient journey um, and looking at how we can influence care along the way and how you can integrate physical activity into those consultations. So in maternity, we went through really a, a four-stage four approach. Having mapped the pathways, um, we then looked at where we could fit our interventions into it to try and um, make it a seamless in, in, in integrating it into the care. And the first thing we did was we looked at the booking visit when women first really come in contact with secondary care at about the 10 to 12 week booking visit. And physical activity was absent in that area. So we implemented a tool in that in that in that aspect um, into the booking into the booking uh, software, which then um, it was a prompt for midwives to ask about physical activity. We've influenced over ten thousand women that have gone through the booking system in Oxfordshire, which is growing and sustainable each 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 day. That those numbers are growing. The second thing that we've really uh, looked to influence is um, the environment that they're coming into, uh, into the hospital. So we've developed a number of posters and resources that can be used in other trusts and hopefully um, encourage women to keep as active as possible. Um, the third aspect that we've really looked at is looking at the um, care uh, within a specific setting and we've met, we looked at the gestational diabetes clinic where we've done over a hundred motivation interviews of women coming into that clinic and then uh, subsequently followed up about 60 of them and we're showing some really significant improvements in physical activity levels at two weeks follow up from those motivation interviews and then the final thing really is education We've developed an educational package based on the Chief Medical Officer's guidelines from 2017, which actually I was involved in developing. We've educated over 80, 80 healthcare professionals, which is growing now with even more. Um, we've taught healthcare professionals about how to deliver this, this teaching session. Embedding physical activity into the pathways really helped empower patients and get them to start to understand that physical activity is a key part of their treatment. We spent a long time mapping the pathways and using a behavioural change model to really look to see in our individual pathways where we could best influence and look at those opportunities. I think the the maternity booking calculator has been particularly successful um, with the, making a sustainable tool that's influencing women on a daily basis um, and I think that's that went on to win a prize at an international conference. Looking at the teaching sessions in particular we've got some great feedback from that and we've, we've actually changed and manipulated the sessions according to, to them uh, and according to that feedback and tried to improve things. You know, when we think about quality of service, we think about three key aspects, really. And I think the first is um, that we're adhering with kind of the, the guidelines. And so lots of women are now getting advice about the physical activity guidelines within that, as well as um, focusing on, um, the, in the, specifically in the gestational diabetes, women are, are following the NICE guidelines by taking exercise uh, regularly, which is a key part of, of the NICE guidelines there. I think from uh, the other aspect that we, we look at is patient safety, um, and we've, we're very keen on that, so we've, we've, we've followed that very carefully to ensure that there'll be no adverse outcomes and are monitoring our, our, our patients carefully with that. And the third thing, which is the key, really, is patient experience. Um, and, you know, we've had lots of really positive feedback from women who have said that I didn't get this advice before in my last pregnancy, and now having this advice has really made a, good, a, a difference. I think there's a number of reasons. I think that we spent time mapping the project first to make sure that um, we had covered aspects of care which we thought were the good opportunities. And then we spent time with clinicians, with teams, looking at their pathways and looking at where we could fit in. Um, the other reason that we had a lot of support um, from the top down in this organisation that really positive and really for, for physical activity. 
from my experience, I was previously a, a GP and I used to see a lot of patients coming in with growing um, comorbidities, lots of different health, health problems. And it was often quite challenging to, to, to manage all these different, different aspects of their, of their care. The physical activity project that we've done here is a really exciting first step in, in delivering this aspects of care.